So I see Lerp and Unity used quite a lot for like easing functions and to change a value over a period of time, which is great. It works for that. Um, it's easy to forget, though, what Lerp is actually meant to do, which is to return a value between two others uh, based on a weight, the t value between 0 and 1. So I'll give you an example of, of how you might normally use this. So I've got in, in this scene, I've got a little zoom camera that works fine. And it just follows the target. You change the target zoom and it, and it smoothly sort of catches up to where it is. However, it starts from wherever it is in the inspector. So if I, if I pull it way out, it zooms all the way in. So I need to have a starting value. Um, but I don't just want this to be any old value. So I've got, I've got maximum and minimum zoom levels already set. And I want to be able to just pick a value in between those two, in between that arbitrary range, without going back and changing it if these values change later. And I can do that with lerp. So what I'm going to do is when I start the object, I'm going to type my camera dot uh, field of view because that's what I'm using equals mathf dot lerp. So I'm going to pass in three values, a, b, and t. a and b are the ends of the range, and t is the value that determines where on that range it's measured. So 0 would return the start of the range, 1 would return the end, 0 0.5 would return right in the middle, and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put in min perspective zoom, max perspective zoom, and then the t value 0.5f. Oh, and I have not spelled alert properly. There we go. Save that and go back to Unity. So now, even though I'm zoomed all the way out, what it's going to do is it's going to get a value in between 3 and 30 at the exact halfway point and start it from there, which it does. So that's how LERP is normally used. It's used for lots of other lovely things as well, um, but at a basic level, that's all it does.